Welcome back dear students. Today we will continue our chapter number 12 light shadows and reflections. Today we are going to learn about rays and beams of light. As you know children light travel in a straight line and this property is known as rectilinear propagation of light. This property of light can be represented by a ray or a beam of light. What is ray? It is a very narrow path of a light which is represented by a line with an arrow. The arrow head shows the direction in which the light is traveling. Beam If you switch on a torch in the dark, you will see a beam of light emitted from the torch bulb. This beam of light is a group of light rays. In other words, a collection or group of large number of rays of light is called a beam of light. These rays may or may not be parallel. There are three kinds of beam of light. Parallel beam of light, convergent beam of light and divergent beam of light. Parallel beam of light When a large number of rays are parallel to each other, they are called a parallel beam of light. The distance between the rays remains the same. Convergent beam of light When rays of light coming from different directions meet at a point, such a collection of rays is called a convergent beam of light. The distance between the rays goes on decreasing till all the rays meet at a point. Example, the rays entering in our eyes converge on the retina. Divergent beam of light When the rays of light starting from a point travel in various directions, the collection of such rays is called a divergent beam of light. The distance between the rays goes on increasing. Example, light rays coming out from the headlight of a car. In the laboratory, a beam of light is normally produced by using a light box. It consists of a bulb kept inside a box with a small hole in it for light to come out. 